children, the ancient sun is rising again, blessing us with another beautiful day. To survive. Horrors of this war tear apart our souls, infecting us with fear and despair. We feel it all. How hungry we are for hope. How exhausted we are from constant struggle and how tired we are to lose those but fear nothing, children. Our ancient bones will protect and provide. Standing on the edge of complete extinction, we strive for unity. And while our citizens suffer to get us through today, the best of humanity will forge our future. Ultori, heroes of Arx, blessed with our mark, will strike back. Decisively, they will crush our enemies, redeeming sins of the past and reclaiming our legacy. Yes, today we are looking into oblivion, but with smiles, for we stand united and strong against our true enemy, against the moon. the last stronghold of humanity on Earth. The planet is now fully under the control of the Furos, a vicious species designed by humans centuries past, but now guided by the corrupt moon. The ancient city's infrastructure and defenses are badly degraded and require a constant supply of Luma, that enigmatic energy source upon which so much relies. With the human population in steady decline, Faces everywhere are downcast and grim. Hope is fading. Galdir, one of Ark's most famous Ulturi, sensed an unusual warp in the universal Luma flow. He was busy training a squadron of new recruits for the city guard. Recent data predicted more than 25% of them will die during their first year of service, either from the unrelenting moonstorms or during city maintenance operations. Despite these foreboding numbers, every student was quietly content to be training with the legend. Galdir was careful to conceal his unease about the Luma field from the youngsters. His task is to inspire. Whatever the trouble, the old Turi would deal with it. Ark City herself, the living mother goddess of humanity, first picked up the signal from Sophia, the Theurgo Altore. The signal's origin was far from the city walls in an area plagued with intense Furos activity. For Arx, the picture was clear. It was Arx who sent her on this secret mission, and she alone knew the consequences should Sophia not survive. Arx communicated a short message to Galdir. No other Alture was included on the transmission. My child, gather your courage. I need you to collect my sarcophagus for an urgent mission. You must leave the city immediately. Tell no one. Let your wisdom guide me, mother, and I will be the weapon in your hands. Ark's consciousness, sheathed in an ancient device known as the sarcophagus, followed Galdir out of the city. Together they headed into Furos territory. 
Galdir scanned their surroundings constantly, ready to counter any threat. The only place he never allowed his eyes to stray was the bleak, gray disk of the corrupted moon above. Dearest Mother Art, please help me tap into this wellspring of Luma Flow. Agreed. Galdir's powerful forearms bulge as he kneels before his massive gauntlet, Earth Splitter, like a man worshipping at an altar. The Santitas Ultore are famous for their unbreakable discipline and martial prowess. This ritual is learned only by the greatest among them. No Duros may stand against me now. This power is almost limitless. But Arx, I sensed a rift during the ritual. Something powerful is stalking us. Whatever it may be, there is no time. We must move at once if we are to save Sophia.
decisive strikes, Galdir destroyed the final Furos. Even during the most frenzied combat, his will never wavered, his speed never slackened, his mind remained as clear as a freshwater pool. Indeed, Ulture are more than merely human. They are the hope of humanity. The moon is active today. I can feel her poisonous attention. She will attempt to stop us, but I have a plan. Yes, I sense her testing my will, but Yago Dogma protects me. Goddess, did the ancestors abide by dogmas as we Saint Titus do? They do not follow any dogmas, Galdir. It is why they were doomed to fall. The body of this Duro still contains an undamaged Arcana cell. I should consume it to enhance my abilities. That is wise. We must take whatever advantage we can. I hope this Furos lived a short life. How is this important? These cells contain both the energy and identity of the Furos. When you consume it, you absorb all the experience stored inside, which is why it is sometimes quite painful. Be brave, my son. And hurry. The moon's presence grows with every passing minute.
Amara danced about the last staggering Furos, masterfully piercing him with the rapier more than a dozen times before the final blow sent him to the ground with a reverberating crash. Despite the fevered melee, the so-called Queen of Arcs remained fresh and composed, her beauty untroubled, while the heavily breathing Galdir was plastered head to toe with sweat and blood. This dirty place is the source of Sophia's signal. Her mental imprint is fading. We have approximately 1.932 hours before it is too late. Let me set up some drone scouts to survey the area. I'm leery of walking into a trap. We don't have time for reconnaissance. We have to move. Saroma Ultori! The Santitas Ultori raised Earth Splitter above his head and shattered the entry portal. But do not suppose Galdir is as reckless as he appears. One of the key Santitas dogmas is Remoro, which means many as one. He would, without hesitation, take any risk to save Sophia. As I told you before. Now, let's clean up this mess.
We are the sacred mother of humanity! We are the spirit of vengeance and the symbol of mankind's might! Forward, Ultori! Fear not this bloody moon! Tonight we are victorious! Tonight we strike back! The moon attempted to directly influence the battle. This is rare. Yes, because she needs Sophia. Let's put paid to her wicked plans. Sophia was found, pale and exhausted, in a Furos prison. Clearly, she had been psychically tortured by her captors. We found her, but I've never seen a prison cell like this. The bars are made from pure Luma streams. How is that possible? Stop! Not one more step. If you had lived as long as I, you would recognize these beams as sustainable Z inverse rays. If you act the typical Sanctitas and charge it with your weapon, the wave desynchronization would kill us all in the next instant. Let the Architectus handle this. After some quick calculations, Amara launched a few drones in the air. Using Luma from the Ark Sarcophagus, she discharged a massive energy surge into the Z inverse rays, which slowly degraded until the cell was no more. As always, Galdir was glad to have Amara on the team, even though terms such as dogma and discipline meant nothing to her. Sophia had been weakened by her ordeal and clung shaking to Galdir for support, but at least she was alive. For several minutes, she tearfully repeated, I will not, before coming fully to her senses. No one would ever know the scars this episode had left upon her. For 62 hours, a battle raged within the mind of the greatest Theurgo Altori. The celestial tyrant lacks even the smallest shred of mercy. I was strong at first, Strong enough to withstand every assault, to see through every feint. But the moon's patience and cunning are endless. My resources are not. Worse, there is no time here where I am tortured. Only the slowly encroaching wave of blackness. It is warm and full of familiar voices, promising sleep, release, death. Were it only so easy, I would readily succumb. 
But the darkness is the moon's final ruse. To sink into its bottomless embrace is to surrender my greatest secret. Knowledge shared with no living being. Not even Ox. Something which could very well decide the fate of humanity. This must not come to pass.
Thank <laughs> you. 